Can you see my toes? No. Okay. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> What's going on, Slay Bays? It's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we're in a different atmosphere. I really wanted to film a video that was more chill and relaxed because today I'm filming my what I eat in a day video, which let me say has been so requested since I stopped documenting my fitness journey and I stopped doing keto. Still to this day, I always get questions as to whether or not I'm doing keto, and I really wanted to let you guys know I am not doing it anymore. I'm not really following any specific diet for that matter. I'm just trying to make healthier, smarter choices moving forward forward, which you guys will see within the video. So there's that. I also wanted to let you guys know before we begin that I am filming this video in partnership with HelloFresh. So huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys like these kind of videos moving forward, definitely give the video a big old like, click the subscribe button, and also click that bell so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday, two times a week, every single week. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. What's going on, you guys? Good morning. So the time right now is 11 o'clock. It's not really the morning anymore. It's more like the afternoon. But in my defense, I did wake up around 5.30 for a 6.15 workout. And I feel so energized. I feel ready to like conquer my day. So I'm in it to win it. I'm in my filming room right now because I need to work on my face because I'm looking busted and crusted. I also need to go get my feet done. But before I do all of that, I'm going to go into the kitchen and make myself a juice. I've been really into juicing recently as opposed to having like a coffee first thing in the morning just because like I want to have as little coffee throughout the day as possible I used to have like three cups a day but recently I've just scaled it back to one which I'm so happy about so I'm going to take you guys into the kitchen and show you what juice I'm making today the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the fruits and vegetables that I'm gonna put inside the juice and rinse them and clean them underneath water So this is a brand of celery I like to use. It is Foxy Organic. They're just celery hearts. Honestly, I just like to use this a lot more than I like to use the other celery that's in the really long package because I don't have to cut this up or anything. It's really easy to stick in my juicer. But one thing I always make it a point to do, especially with like all of my fruits and vegetables, is I will go in and pre-wash them. So even though these are like packaged, I still feel like it's really important to give them a good rinse, especially if you are using them for juicing. I mean, even if you're eating them, I mean, you always wanna wash your fruits and vegetables. So I'm just going to go ahead and take about one stalk of this, rinse it, and then we'll start juicing. So the next step to the juicing process is to just cut off like these little rough ends right here on the cucumber. So that's what I'm going to do. I also have to pre-chop the apples, which shouldn't take very long because I'm not going to chop them up in little pieces or anything like that. I'm just going to do like really big like rough chops with it. And that's all I'm doing as far as cutting the cucumber. For the apple, I do like to just cut it right down the middle. So I'll just kind of do that. And then I'll do it again in the center. Had a hard time there. Some people say that they want you to like cut out the seeds. But honestly, sometimes I'll just like even leave them. But today I'm just going to kind of, you know, roughly take them out. And like I said, just really big chops like that. And then I'll just do one more down the middle. Also, I do want you guys to know that I am making two servings of juice. This isn't just for me. I'm making one for me and I'm making one for Bebido because that's just what I do. That's part of my morning routine. Actually, he normally makes the juices for me, but today I'm just kind of demonstrating from what I learned from him. Just to make some extra space, I'm just going to take whatever's pre-chopped and just put it right over here because I need to finish chopping up the apples and the celery. Now, whenever I do celery, I do like to just chop off like the bottom right here. So I'll just kind of get rid of that. That's like the really ugly piece that I don't want in my juice. And this should be pretty good. So this right here is our juicer. We did get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. It is a really good juicer. It's the Breville Juice Fountain. It comes on two different speeds. We use it on the high speed. And it also has like this right here that you push all of the fruit down. All the waste goes in here and then all of the juice comes over here. The juice does come out a little bit foamy so I do like to strain the juice after it comes out. But for the most part it's a really good juicer and I will have it listed down below in case any of you guys are interested in picking it up. So I'm going to start off with the apples and and I will just put the apples in here first and then I will start it up because it's pretty loud.
now that I'm done juicing, I like to take the extra step of actually straining my juice. As you can see, there is a lot of foam right here. This container does a good job of like straining the foam, but I just like my juice well strained. So we are going to just strain this bad boy. So after the juice is strained, I will go in with one lime. And the reason I like to wait to the very end is because while I'm straining all the foam out, I don't want to like strain out any of the lime. And honestly, I just like to just add it at the end. And I have this little lime juicer, lemon juicer. I got this at Target as well. I feel like I get everything at Target, but Target's like the best place to get everything. And then I'll take a whisk and I'll just whisk everything together. Cool, so we're nice, we're mixed, and we're ready to pour. Cheers! Honestly, you guys, there's just something so hydrating and refreshing about having a juice first thing in the morning. Now, normally, Bobito makes these for me. He makes all different kinds, and they're so, so, so good. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will definitely see me post about different juice recipes and things like that. So check those out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting ready for the day and also go to the nail salon because, like I said, I need to get my feet done. So I'm going to finish up this juice, and then we'll come back with my next meal. So my green juice it doesn't keep me full very long so i like to go in with these from trader joe's this is the whole wheat british muffin it's a good source of fiber and it's also low fat they're so good and i want to say the calorie count is pretty decent it's 120 calories for one so i'll take one out and i'll put it in the toaster and sometimes i'll have half sometimes i'll have both but like it just really depends on how hungry i am today i'm just gonna go for half so while i wait for that to toast i'm just gonna cut my avocado and I will just put a few cuts into the avocado. And then I'll just pop this out with a knife. Everybody has their own way of popping it out. Honestly, I just don't wanna use another utensil. And then I'll do the same thing. Just cut through the avocado and cube it as well. Okay, so now that my toast is nice and toasted, I'm just gonna go and get a spoon, take out some of the avocado and mash it onto the little British muffin. And this doesn't have to be perfect. And since I'm making this for me and Bobito, I like to put half of the avocado on one and the other half on the other. Then I'm just going to take my fork and just kind of mash the avocado. I don't like to mash it until it's like completely smooth. I still like chunks of avocado on here. So I'm just going to gently mash it so this next part is literally what's gonna set this whole thing off and i'm gonna use the trader joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend you guys this is so good it has sea salt garlic and onion and i'm just gonna top everything off with this and i kind of like to go ham i'm not gonna lie probably got more on the cutting board than i did on the actual food but it's okay it's the middle of the day now, so I'm going to fix myself a cup of coffee to pick me up and just get me through the rest of my work day. I do have a Nespresso machine, which Bobito got me about two Christmases ago. I honestly really love it because you can order different pods on the website. I have these right here, which are half caffeinated, which work really well considering I'm making this about midday and I don't want to be up all night. For creamers, I like to use this by Silk. This is their vanilla almond creamer. I've been using this for a really long time and I really like it. So what I like to do is I like to just take a tablespoon of this and that's the exact serving size on the back. And then I'll just add it into my coffee. Then for sugars, I like to use this. This is the organic golden coconut sugar. And I picked this up recently. I've been trying it out for a little bit. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of this to my coffee. So just about that much. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. And honestly, that's all I like to do for my coffee. It is a little bit strong, but it gets the job done. It keeps me awake and it keeps me going. The real question is, can I get a round of applause for making it back into my filming room without slipping in a puddle of dog pee? Like, if you guys remember my Instagram story or even my previous video that I did like on the loose waves, then you may or may not know that I had a situation where I was leaving my filming room to heat up my coffee and I slipped in a puddle of dog pee. We have a new puppy, her name is Stormy, so she's not quite potty trained. And the coffee literally spilled all over my face. It was in my eyes, it was on the wall, it was all over the floor. 
it was literally a hot mess so needless to say me and coffee we don't have the best relationship right now but you know what we're making progress because i fixed myself a cup of coffee today and i am feeling it i am in it i'm going to sip on this while i do more of like a decluttering video so i will talk to you guys when i make my lunch i like to call this next meal use what you have in your fridge me and Mobito we're going out of town in two days so i just want to use all of the vegetables just so that way nothing goes bad so i have baby bella mushrooms here broccoli and cauliflower some grape tomatoes also chopped lettuce underneath for a salad my seasonings my oil i have a whole onion that i'm going to chop up brussels sprouts and some potatoes so I'm just gonna do more of a rough chop. I like to chop these up into like small cubes. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. This has honestly become probably one of my favorite things to eat. It's funny because I made this for Bobito once and he was like, what is this? Like the majority of the plate is vegetables and then you just have some seasoned potatoes on the side, but it's a lot more filling than you would think. I'm trying to get into the habit of eating a lot more vegetables with my meals because before I would serve like, you know, some Brussels sprouts on the side or maybe even some broccoli on the side, but I've realized it's important for me to consume more vegetables in my meal. So that's what I've been doing. And I feel like a meal like this really allows us to get a variety of different vegetables into our meals because as you can see, I'm having some onion, I'm having Brussels sprouts, I'm having baby Bella mushrooms, some broccoli, some tomatoes. It's just a really, really filling meal. Now that my potatoes are all diced up. I like to put them in just a separate bowl because I like to season the potatoes a lot differently than I like to season my actual vegetables. So I'll put them in a bowl and I'll start to add my seasoning. For seasoning my potatoes, I like to use a little bit of paprika, ground cumin, chili powder, a little bit of grapeseed oil, and also just a tad bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna preheat the oven to 425 degrees while I cut and season the potatoes. Now that the potatoes are nice and seasoned, I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer them onto a tray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread them out. Now the potatoes take longer to cook than the vegetables, so I'm going to stick these into the oven for the first 20 minutes and then I'm gonna transfer in the vegetables. I pulled the potatoes out of the oven. They're about halfway done. What I'm gonna do now is start adding the vegetables right next to it because the potatoes take a lot longer to cook and the vegetables cook super fast. So I do like to add them in about 20 minutes before it's done. So I'm going to add my baby bella mushrooms. Right next to it, I'm gonna put the Brussels sprouts. And then right next to it, I'm just gonna put the tomatoes and onions. And to season my vegetables, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, salt, grapeseed oil, and thyme. Once that's done, it's just time to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then we should have our lunch complete. So my vegetables are nice and roasted. As you can see, my potatoes are extremely crispy. Honestly, this is just a preference thing. I do like for my potatoes to be extremely crunchy, like really, really hard and crispy. So definitely cook them to your liking. You can make them soft, you can make them crispy, you can make them medium, whatever it is that you guys want. But this right here is the end result. I am going to have it with just some water and lemon and that is pretty much our lunch. It's now time to start working on dinner, which is honestly the meal I'm probably most excited about because while I love the meals I make every single day, HelloFresh allows me to keep things fresh and new in the kitchen. I do have the classic plan, which is really awesome for two people, so me and Bobito, and we have three meals in this box, but you can definitely customize it depending on your family or your own personal needs. They do have a veggie plan. They also have a family plan, which I will have all the information listed down below for you guys, but let's go ahead and dive into my box so I can show you what I got. The meals I have here are the Tuscan sausage and pepper spaghetti. This is such a different take on the spaghetti that I normally make for me and Bobito, so I thought it'd be cool to try something new and fresh this week. Then I have the sesame beef tacos. Me and Bobito are obsessed with tacos, and I've never tried like a sesame beef taco like this. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and get it. Let's pick it up and let's see what it's all about. Lastly, I have the sweet as honey chicken with green beans over jasmine rice. Out of all the meals I picked out, this one is just 
the most simple and sometimes I want a quick easy and simple meal that I don't have to chop up a ton of ingredients and this gave me just that now what I personally love about HelloFresh is that each meal comes pre-packaged as you can see I have three bags right here and it's just one of those things where I don't want to go to the grocery store and pick up a lemon a lime cilantro a cucumber and kind of chop all those things up I like that all of the ingredients are in one bag and also the meat is already pre-portioned out so again I am going to be making the sesame beef tacos today so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here I went ahead and laid everything out right in front of me and honestly I'm just so amazed that all of these ingredients came in that one small bag for me personally I'm always filming so it's really hard for me to get to the grocery store to pick up each individual ingredient to keep things really fresh and new at home so I just love this like I'm so obsessed with it I have the flour tortillas the radishes like look how cute these little packages of sour cream are they chopped up the cabbage I have a Persian cucumber sesame oil a package of soy sauce chili flakes garlic powder like even the garlic powder is packaged like and it says one teaspoon it's literally the perfect portion we have the cilantro green onions these super cute hot sauces and then white wine vinegar I'm gonna bring my vegetables over to the sink just so that way I could pre-rinse them. Like I said in my first meal, it's really important to just wash all of your fruits and vegetables. So I'm gonna give them a really good rinse and then I'm gonna start chopping everything up. Now I'm gonna start thinly slicing the vegetables. Then with the cilantro, I'm just picking the leaves off and then I'm gonna throw away the stem. Now that I have my pickled veggies cut, it tells me to put them all in a bowl and add vinegar and one teaspoon of sugar. Also, a little bit of salt and pepper. By the way, pink Himalayan salt, bomb. Go pick it up. Now it's telling me to just stir everything together and then I'm gonna set this to the side. So in a small bowl, I'm gonna mix in the sour cream. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of the chili flakes. Not a lot though, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and then I'm gonna taste it and see if I need more. Then I'm just gonna mix it. And I think it needs a little bit more chili flakes, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. We actually like it spicy, so I'm just gonna put the whole thing. Okay, cool, so now that it's all nice and mixed, I'm just gonna set it to the side, and then we're gonna start working on the ground beef. I'm just gonna start heating up my pan with a little bit of grapeseed oil. I love this oil, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and heat it in the pan. While I wait for that to start heating up, I'm going to add the cabbage. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper while we wait for that to heat up. And you want to make sure that this is nice and soft before you start adding in your ground beef. Then I'm going to go in with my ground beef and start cooking it until it's brown. Now that the beef has been cooking for about 45 minutes, I'm going to add in the sesame oil. I'm gonna add in half the sriracha and half the soy sauce. You know, just give it a good stir. So I heated up the tortillas in the microwave and it's now time to plate the food. Finally, I am so hungry. You guys have no idea. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that sour cream on top. Now, if you're trying to do low calorie, I would definitely skip out on the sour cream altogether. Then we're just gonna add the vegetables on top. And since we like things spicy, just a little bit more of that sriracha. So I went ahead and just plated myself two tacos. I could have ate three, but I really just wanted to tone it down a little bit. But honestly, HelloFresh really just gives you the most meal for your money, which I think is absolutely incredible. And HelloFresh is also now from $6.99 per serving. I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Try out some of their meals and let me know what you think. You can actually get eight free meals, which is a total of two free meals off your first four boxes just by going to HelloFresh.com and using my code makeup by am80 to get $80 off your first month so check it out I'll have everything listed down below in the description mm -hmm.